Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of New Tech Tuesday Tutorials. I am your host Richard Evans. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Today I'd like to show you how to use the Apply with Comp feature on the TriCaster. So comps allow you to arrange your switcher and mix effects in a variety of different ways and positionings and utilizing the Apply to Comps feature allows you to incorporate your downstream and upstream keyers to participate in those comps, which can create some really interesting results. So let me show you how it's done, son. All right, so I'm here on my TriCaster 2 Elite interface and I'm going to play around first with my mix effect number 5 which I currently have pulled up on my program output here. Um, so uh, I, I, just a quick review of comps. What comps allow you to do is to take different shots that are either in your virtual sets or your mix effects and then uh, move between them uh, without having to you know, create a completely different mix effect for a different angle of a shot you want. So uh, for example uh, in this particular uh, uh, mix effect. I have just my one shot here. I've already set up these comps. Uh, so I have this one, which will just be my main shot. And then I have another one that I set up where I have my shots show up when they start to push over here to the left and scale appropriately, etc. All right. And as you can see, when I do that, it does some animations in here, etc. Now I know this is very crude, but for today's example, eh, you'll get the point. Okay. So uh, now what I want to do is I want to start uh, incorporating in my my upstream keyers uh, into this and show you how that looks. Okay, so the first thing I want to show you is within my upstream keyer number one here, uh, where you would go to activate apply with comps. So apply with comp is going to show up right here. So we'll go ahead and check that, and that will allow us to have uh, control over where we want to have uh, our uh, shots uh, line up here. Okay, so let me go ahead and bring on my upstream keyer first of all. And so what I want to do here now is uh, I want to position this to kind of be in that little um, area over on the side. So I'll go ahead and move this over here, do, 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 and let's scale it up just to make it big. All right. I know this is a little crude, like I said, but uh, for today's example, this will this will work. Okay. So now uh, to add this to the comp that I currently have set up, all I have to do is click on comp again here, and I'll take a new snapshot like this. Okay? Cool. All right, so now what I want to do is I'm going to move over to my comp number one. Now, I haven't done any positioning, uh, etc., on uh, this one just yet, so it's probably just going to go back into the background here and fade away because I didn't have it on screen when I set up this particular comp. So let's go ahead and update that. Uh, I'm going to say, let's bring that on screen here, and instead of having that right smack dab in the center, I'll turn on my positioning tool and let's move it over here to the right corner like that. Okay, cool. And then I'll go back into comps and let's update that with another snapshot. Cool, good to go. And now check it out. Now that I have apply with comps on, what's going to happen is when I switch over to the second shot, as you'll see the storm cloud uh, move over there and scale up, etc., to observe the positioning that I had on there before, like so. Hey, cool. Now you can uh, um, uh, trigger a comps either by doing what I'm doing now or apply them to a button on your control panel, um, live panel, stream deck, you name it. And you can put it pretty much wherever. Okay, um, but now that, I, I mean, that's with a, apply comps on, but let's say that you don't want to have that there. Say you just want to have it stay up here in the top right corner for all your different shots. Okay, so, uh, to, so but without having to go through and change everything around, all I have to do is now go back into my upstream keyer and turn apply with comp off, like so. And then let's go back into our second shot. And when I do that, you'll notice that that storm cloud goes nowhere because apply with comp is off. So uh, whenever you have apply with comp on, basically it will observe the different positions that you have saved in that comp that you have done. Okay, now like I said before, that it, it, I think that the coolest way to show this is on a, a mix effect because you can move things around, etc. But you can also do that within your uh, pro your main switcher row as well. So, for example, this is where you can pretty much dedicate uh, this to um, your comps dedicated to your uh, downstream keyers. So let's do the same thing here. I'm going to go to another shot. So let's just go to input number one. Uh, no, just so it's not confusing, we'll go to input number four. Okay, and let's bring that on screen here. And I'm going to leave apply with comp on. And let's move 
Whoop, let's reset that first. All right. And we're going to move this storm cloud over here to the top right. All right. And let's go ahead and save that comp over in number one. All right. And then now let's say that we're going to stay on this shot, but we want to actually move that uh, particular um, storm cloud somewhere else. All right. So what I'm going to do now is I'll go into my comps here and let's move it over to the other side. Uh, but then I'm also going to do some fun rotation here. So let's say I'm going to do 720 on that. Okay, so you didn't see the rotation because I just entered it in, but you'll see I'm kind of spinning it around here, etc. Uh, but let's, oops, I undid that. Let's put it back like that. And we'll put 720 on the X. All right, now let's go through and we'll make another comp here into number two. Now check this out. If I go and move between one and two because I did that interesting uh, you know, camera move, uh, then uh, it'll observe the animation. Let me, I don't remember if I had apply with comp on. Yes, I did. Okay, cool. So let's hit comp and now we'll go over to my shot number one and check out the storm cloud. Whee! Flips around, goes over there like that. Yeah. Cool, so you can do some fun and interesting things with this. I know this is a very basic example, but I didn't want to overload y'all uh, with you know information kind of thing. But uh, you can do some fun things with this on either your upstream or downstream keyers, and having your uh, your, your uh, comps uh, trigger the different animations on there and positionings, uh, etc. So play around with this. This is very useful, and of course, you know, have some fun. So as you can see, using Apply With Comps can help take your show to a whole new level. Now for additional tutorial videos like this one, subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash newtechinc. For formalized new tech product training and an opportunity to get TriCaster certified, check out New Tech University at newtech.com slash newtech u. And for more information on new tech products and services, contact your local new tech partner or visit our website, newtech.com. And as always, if you're posting your work with new tech products on social media, make sure that you tag us using the hashtags new tech, TriCaster, or 3Play. It's awesome to see all the cool work that y'all are up to. Thank you again for watching, and I'll see you again soon for another episode of New Tech Tuesday Tutorials.